Hi everybody, this is Amanda Ellis of amandaellis.co.uk and Facebook page Angelic Celestial Colours. If you're watching this probably on my YouTube channel, it is Amanda Ellis 11. And I do a video every month looking at the collective energy, what's coming up. Um, we will do that today, but I also feel very strongly guided by Archangel Metatron today to do an exercise together right at the start, which is something we all have to do together because it makes it easier to do it together. And that is to jump into the void. OK, so uh, there are many opportunities, many new starts, many new beginnings that are coming up for all of us and are available to us this February. But it's almost as though you can't create anything new until you've jumped into the void space and actually stepped into the unknown. So sometimes it's really hard to do that alone, which is why we're going to do it together. And I have to say, this is the second video I've made today. I'm making it on the 2nd of February. And the first one, there was nothing wrong with it, but I just thought, no, I want to do something different. And uh, re-pulled the cards, re-tuned in, and I really, really feel strongly that we're meant to do this. So I've changed all the colour bottles that I've chosen for this reading um, and the colours that I'm working with, those of you that have got my bottles and like to have them on hand when we do these videos, I've got the Midnight Indigo, I have the Sapphire Piece, I have the Silver and I have the White. And we may also, that's them jumping about on my table, we may also use the orange. Okay, so those are the colours that we are going to be using today. I'll just put those down there. And I just want to start off by saying um, it's a really important thing that when you are entering into some sort of void space, which is really going into a place beyond space and time, um, into a different realm, as it were, that we do so under the protection, under the um, grace of this beautiful being that is Archangel Metatron, who completely understands everything there is to do in this universe, everything that it there is, all shades of light and dark. And indeed, this isn't really even entering the dark, it's entering into an image, let's just put this up actually to explain it a little bit. This is a painting that's been done for me for the forthcoming uh, Metatron Oracle deck. It's obviously a copy of it here. And this is the one that's going to be entitled The Void. So the colours don't really come out very well on camera, particularly behind a piece of plastic film. In fact, Metatron is saying, take it out of there, Amanda. So I will do. Um, because actually then you can see there are different hues actually there that you can see now. The purples the turquoise, there is some green energy and there is the beautiful black as well around the outside. And within the centre of the void space, we have the sacred Om symbol of creation. So by diving into the void, we are able to create our new future together. And before we do that, before I spray anything or tune in, I'd just like to read to you the channeled words that go with that particular um, painting that will be one of the cards in the Oracle deck. And it goes like this. This is something I channeled through a week or so ago. Um, and this is what Metatron had to say about the void space. Let there be light. And with those words, creation sprang forth and has not stopped and never will. To understand your life, see it as a series of eternal births and deaths that your soul has journeyed through and will again. Time and space shift and blur as you travel through time, different dimensions, galaxies and experiences. How many times have you travelled through a birth canal to, explore, to experience physical life on this planet? And how many times have you journeyed back beyond the veil to other realms to rest, review and reflect on each part of your existence, that which you understand as death? Many times, I tell you, many times. Your soul is a bright, sparkling ball of luminescent light. You can be anything you want to be. Choose any reality, any theme, any time or role or part to play. Entering back into the void, when alive now, is to reach back into a rich landscape of potential dreams as well as unfulfilled wishes and desires. Sometimes we voluntarily go into the void and sometimes we are pushed. 
yet it is within the darkness that you can hibernate, retreat, feel safe a while as you search for deeper meaning, deeper fulfilment, and allow a moment of pause before creation once more kicks in. Do not rush your time there, as so much can be revealed and learnt, not accessible to you at times other than during the night. We call the first movement of a baby in the womb the quickening, and so it is that you now feel and sense a quickening within yourself. A desire to begin anew, to stretch, change, become something else. So move further into the void, and as you do, you leave behind the old and what is known. The first steps are the most difficult, as they require you to face your own darkness, that which has robbed you maybe of joy, of love, of health, abundance or hope. But as you step into the void, which is really just the unknown, you feel Metatron's presence. Within the dark, you proceed deeper into its safe cocoon, knowing you are not alone. Within the void, there is light too, and you can truly face who you are, what you now need to deal with, heal, embrace or feel. From that moment of sweet surrender, anything becomes possible. A creative dance of movement, flow and expansion once more. The sound and vibration of chanting OM at this time will also connect back to your own cosmic breath, your divine essence, so that you can reach once more for the light, bursting forth again to a new you. Don't fear the void. It is there to help, not hinder, to heal, not hurt, to create, not diminish, and to greaten, not lessen, this experience of life. So with Metatron's words, and I say I channeled those through a few weeks ago, let's just proceed to go there, and we're going to go there by colour. So I'd just like you to connect into your body. I'd like you just to create a safe space around yourself. We are calling in first the presence of Archangel Metatron, and we're going to do that with the orange energy. And orange as an energy, which I'd just like you to feel coming around your aura now, connects you instantly to Archangel Metatron and his ascension light. For Metatron, orange is the colour of life. It is the colour of courage and strength. And so just breathe that orange energy into your body, breathing it into your solar plexus in particular. And I'd like you just to imagine a beautiful glowing ball of orange light in the centre of your being. Beautiful pulsating orange light. And this is giving you courage, strength to face your fears, to go into the unknown, to enter into the void, to be born anew, letting go of what holds you back so that we can create something beautiful for the month ahead. And Metatron says to me here, this is something you have done many times before. You often enter this place whilst asleep, but many of you have also entered the void, either voluntarily or not, during waking hours also. So for the first time, we're really consciously going to ask to be put there. And I'd like you just to feel not just this beautiful orange light in your solar plexus, but your silver cord linking you to your incarnation here on Earth, which is secure and strong and that will bring you back. Your golden cord linking you to the higher realms from your crown chakra, linking up to the soul star and the stellar gateway. All of the chakras open to a place that is right for you and feeling Archangel Metatron's energy around you. And now we're going to bring in the beautiful midnight indigo energy, which is the light in the dark essence, which takes us back into this place of deep safety within its midnight tones. 
So let's just imagine we are standing in a beautiful um, night with the midnight sky around us. And we're just having a beautiful indigo cloak placed around us, feeling safe, feeling protected. And we are asked to go within, to go within, to connect into our soul, within your heart space. And we're going to allow the soul a moment to rest and retreat into the void from which it came, which it goes back to, which is its normal place of being. And so allowing your higher self, your soul self, just to travel, just feel as you are allowed to float effortlessly, gently, gracefully, in this beautiful midnight sky. You can breathe, you can move, you can stretch. You are able to just be supported in this beautiful indigo energy that is rich, intense, smooth, mysterious, containing all of life's secrets, wisdom of the stars, of the galaxies, of other planetary systems and of Earth itself. Connecting in to your own star essence, maybe your own planetary family, soul family, just feeling this sense of buoyancy as you float within the indigo realm. There is nothing to do. There is nowhere to be other than to be suspended in this rich, dark energy that is comfortable, that is supportive, that is loving. And as you allow your soul a moment of rest, deep, deep rest, you are able to let go of anything that no longer serves you. It may be a pattern, a behaviour, a situation, a relationship. Your soul your higher self knows what you are ready to let go of. And just sense this, whatever it is, as just energy. Everything is energy. And so if you are ready to allow this old energy to leave, sensing where it is leaving from, you may feel it leaving from a part of the body, you may feel it leaving from an aspect of your aura. Don't force it, don't push it. Just know that with Archangel Metatron here, he is able to take away fragments, aspects, anything that puzzles, troubles, or derails your progress. And he will only do this if you have completed that aspect, learnt what you needed to learn, but that which truly you no longer need, that you have learnt the lessons from, you have reached the end with, after the count of three, you let go now. One, two, three. Having let go, you are able to sink deeper 
And as you sink deeper, the colours around you start to shift and change. They start to move from the dense richness of black and indigo to blue, to turquoise, to silver, to white. You are drawn towards the white centre of the void where you can hear the sound of creation. You can smell the sound of creation. You can see the colours and the light of creation. You realise that you are part of the creator, that you are a creator in your own right. Pulling in that beautiful white creative energy, recharging your soul, you realise you can become or be or do or feel or achieve anything that you set your mind to. Within the white light, within the centre of the void, you realise this is a clean sheet, a fresh start, a new beginning. Feel the white energy circulating all around you, blending into you, so you feel yourself as brilliant white energy. And into this place, you command, you ask, you wish for what it is that you need to bring forward in your life in 2016, in this month of February now. State clearly, with intention, in the present tense, what it is that you wish to manifest, to bring out of the void this place of rich creation where anything is possible and bring into your life now. Do so from an open-hearted, centred place for the benefit of all and for your own highest good. You may ask for more than one thing, I hear Metatron say. And then knowing that that is complete, coming back through the void, along the line of silver ray energy, sensing the moonlight within this beautiful void space, you sense the moon around you, you sense the silver light of the moon and you use it to travel back to this place, to this time, finding yourself back where you started, out of the void, back into your own body, your own time, your own dimension and from whence you started. Opening your eyes, knowing your soul is recharged, is rested and has been heard. Okay. I'm just gonna give you a moment or two to come back to me as I shuffle some cards. My eyes are watering as they always do when healing has happened. And I know my own body and I know the way my body reacts to Metatron's energy and it always, for some reason, comes out of my left eye. <laughs> it's like a release, which is proof to me that there's a letting go process happened there. But more than a letting go process, there is a request. There is a, it's almost like Metatron saying, we've stirred the pot of creation. And uh, that card's come out. Um, we've stirred the pot of wisdom. And it's like he said, it is, he's saying, it's like a recipe. What you've done is you've stirred it. 
and you've actually asked for whatever it was that you wanted to create. So it's a bit like baking a cake. You have to know what type of cake you're wanting to bake before you do that. This comes out, the high priest. This is Metatron, basically. This is the, I mean, for me, this deck of cards are not my own. I'll talk about them in a moment. But um, for me, I'm deducing this as Metatron at the moment. The high priest who is able to take us with his wisdom, with his love, with his strength into that void place. And we can do it anytime we wish to, anytime we need that fresh start. So I hope that makes sense in terms of why we've done that at the start of February, um, because we let's see now what the cards say, okay? And the cards that I'm using for February are the Oceanic Tarot deck by Jane Wallace. It's a brand new deck. The reason why I've got them is um, our own lovely Jane Delaford Taylor, who's creating the Archangel Metatron Oracle deck, is also the lady that's painted this deck of cards. And actually, she was painting this deck um, while she was in the middle of the Metatron deck last year. So it's almost like she took a break from Metatron, did this, then came back to Metatron. So it, almost as though Metatron is sandwiched between be, between this deck as well. And I feel his energy quite strongly. And I've been using these cards really successfully with clients this week. So let's see, let's ask what's going to collectively be coming up. Now we've done that exercise with the void for February 2016. That card is jumping out. <laughs> One more. I'm going to have three, that one. And that one. And always look at the one on the bottom. The one on the bottom, interestingly, King of the Ocean. Uh, the, it says order, okay? Order. Um, mm -hmm. He's saying to me, it's like you have just given an order. It's You, you have ordered something from the universe. And what you have to do when you order something from the universe is you have to be patient. You have to realize, a bit like baking a cake, it takes time to create that, but it will come out of the oven, metaphorically, when it is meant to. So in all seriousness, the order has been placed in, and now you have to sit back, let go, and know that spirit have heard. And if it is for your right, in, if you've done it with the right intentions and for the highest good, it will happen. Okay, so King of the Ocean, Order, uh, Metatron saying, I've heard you. Um, okay, I also want to say here, I'm going to be working with the elements quite a lot this year with Metatron. I have some wonderful courses coming up, one in Canada in June, the dates are on my website, looking at the elements of Metatron, and one in the UK in May. It's the same workshop that I'm doing it in two different places, um, and also the USA in the autumn as well. Um, and it's, a, it's as though Metatron is saying, hey, look, I'm the king of everything. You know, I'm the king of all of these beautiful elements. And water is my domain as well. And water is about emotions, helping us with our emotions, helping us with our fears, our anxieties, and also our joy and our exhalation as well. The three cards I've got here for January couldn't be better. I couldn't have checked. Oh, I didn't choose. It just came out. It's the new beginning, it's the fool, okay? So this is the energy of, in terms of the tarot deck, the fool is the one that's not us as a fool. This is, it would be foolish to keep going round and round in that same old circle that we've just let go of in that previous meditation. So the fool is saying, jump right in. That's exactly what we just did in just, just now. We jumped into the void. And by doing that with strength, with gusto, with um, conviction, we know where we're going. We've, we've made our order. We have released what we needed to. And the water within that void place is so cleansing and fresh as well. So the full, number one, we've also got the lovely dolphin there in this image as well. And the dolphin just asking us also to not just dive, I want to say dive into all of life, you know. I'm a great one. I work really hard, but, you know, I also try, I'm trying this year to have a bit more fun, although I love my work. My work is fun. But, you know, it's about also pacing yourself, you know, doing things that you love, taking up a new hobby, um, taking up a new activity. So if your request was work related or relationship related or whatever it was, also realize that you can dive in and have a new beginning with a new activity that's going to bring you additional joy as well. Got the energy of the moon. So again, powerful moon phases all through this year, like last year, I have no doubt. Um, I'm not sure when the first moon phase is of February. I haven't actually looked. Um, but really, for me, this card is saying the things that trap us are an illusion. You know, it's our own fear that traps us half of the time. 
dive in and what we get to is the card here which is the card of victory okay couldn't be a bit more beautiful card to end with um it's the ace of swords the card of complete and utter victory having stake put our stake in the ground and said this is who i am this is where i'm going this is what i want so I hope that has helped you today. Um, I feel as though I'd just like to end by using one of the sprays just to channel something through. And I think we're going to end with what we began with, which was the orange energy. So this is Archangel Metatron, connection and attunement. Let's just see what he has to say to us um, to round off this video for February 2016. So let's just bring in the orange. There is so much of life waiting to be explored, waiting to be discovered. Amazing beauties that this world has to offer. So many of you are detracted by negativity, by what you hear in the news, by what you see around you. Yet look with fresh eyes at this amazing earth on which you live. There is so much to be grateful for, so much to be thankful for. Every single life is precious. Every single life has within it a rich tapestry of opportunity and challenge. But within all of the moments is learning, growth, enlightenment and nourishment for the soul. Allow my orange energy to wrap itself around you this month to explore your own creativity, to plant seeds where they're needing to be planted, for fertility to flourish, for life to grow and flow once more. I think that's what he wants to say. So, 27 minutes is probably enough for me to be speaking to you anyway. Um, I'd like to wish you well. And uh, also those of you that are new to my work, my website is amandaellis.co.uk. And my Facebook page is Angelic Celestial Colours. That's spelt the English way with a U in colours. And as I say, I am going to be in Canada in June. I'm booking my tickets this week, so very exciting. There are two workshops taking place um, around the week. Uh, it's around the 25th of June to the um, uh, 30th, 31st, something like that. It's all the dates are all on my website. And I'm also running two courses in the UK, a level one Metatron in April, that's the 24th, 25th. And I'm doing a course in May um, in the New Forest, uh, linked into Metatron and the Elements. And that's actually accessible for people in London as well. If you want to get on the train, it's a couple of hours journey down here. It's a beautiful place where we're holding that particular course. So please come for people flying in from Italy, which will be wonderful to see you for that course. So it's a really good year ahead. Um, much love everybody this February. Have a fantastic month and I will see you in March. Much love. Bye-bye.